Hi, my name is Jim and today I'm going to tell you how to get rid of mare's tail or horse's tail without the need for a proprietary weed killer. Now if you like this video, just click the button underneath. Now mare's tail, as most gardeners will know, are a terrible weed to get out of the garden. This is what it looks like. It seems to have a, a covering on it that protects it from any other weed killer. So what we really need is something to eat its way through that protective cover and actually into the plant itself. Now, the way I discovered this product, I was working outside with this particular product, and because of the capabilities of it, I thought, I'm going to try this on the mare's tail to see what happens. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Now, I had two areas I wanted to put it on. One was inside my greenhouse, in between the slabs, and another area was immediately outside the greenhouse, again, in between slabs. So I applied this product at the end of May and uh, I was going on holiday the next day so I thought that would give it ample time to take effect on the mare's tail. However that particular night it rained very heavily so obviously the, the mare's tail that was outside the greenhouse got a good soaking so I thought that perhaps that will wash the product off the mare's tail and it might not work. However on my return from my holidays 9-10 days later I discovered that the, the mare's tail both inside the greenhouse and outside had both turned black, uh, shriveled up and eventually it turns to a, a straw-like material that you can just sweep up and put it in the bin. You don't want to be putting this stuff into your compost as uh, the, the small spores will just start growing again and you'll be back to square one. Now after this first trial I thought I'm going to try it again. Uh, in a slightly bigger area. So again it was mainly in between slabs uh, which I will have to get around and put some pointing in between these slabs to try and stop it coming through. However I sprayed it onto the mare's tail. Uh, immediately adjacent to that area I pulled the mare's tail and sprayed the area where the mare's tail had been. And I've, I've left that area. It's now turning black. It's beginning to shrivel up. So I've been taking still photographs of this and I'll upla upload these still photographs onto the video and you'll see how the, the progression of this product has killed off the mare's tail. Now this is a product that most DIY enthusiasts will have in their garage or their shed. And it's not known as I said for weed colour but the, the reason I tried it was in previous YouTube videos that I'd seen this stuff actually removed the silicon from around baths and I thought if I put this product onto the, um, onto the mare's tail it will cut its way through the protective layer of the mare's tail and then we can see what damage it's going to do. Now the name of this product is WD-40. Not a product you would associate with weed killing but it seems to do a multitude of things other than what it was originally intended to do. Now that, as you can see, is it's quite a large can. I, I picked that up from Screwfix. It was on a special, and I thought that will last me for a few years. However, after I discovered that it kills mare's tail, I've been using it rather a lot. Now you can get bigger containers. It's five litres. I believe Screwfix does that also. It's around thirty pounds. I believe you can get it on the internet for about twenty pounds. In all these instances you normally get a spray bottle that you would obviously just pour WD-40 into and use that as a, a spray. So if you want to get rid of your mare's tail, WD-40 is the thing to use. Now whether this comes up next year or not, don't know, just have to wait and see. But certainly this year it's killed off the mare's tail, but be very careful when you're using it. The chances are it will kill everything else around it. So if you want to get rid of your mare's tail or horse's tail, then WD-40 is the way ahead. So thanks for watching this video. So once again, if you liked this video, just click the button underneath. Thank you. Bye.